story time on YouTube is juicy. Get your cola, get your coffee and get your, your addictive drink. And let's dive in to my journal. So you make amends with the demons you've been through. Don't let me try. I've done this before in this book, but I delete the video. First of all, we have a quote. This is like my journal. I'm going to carry on using this after. So I wrote a letter to my ex. Whether this is like, I used to do a philosophy class, right? And it got me thinking a lot. So I just scribbled everything down in here. So I regret nothing. An open letter to my ex. This is an open letter about my ex who committed suicide. I regret not telling you how I feel. I regret not trusting you. I regret telling you I loved you. I regret showing you how, how much you mean to me. I regret it all, you know. Though, in my opinion, I did it all. I regret. I regret listening to your lies. I regret believing everything you said. I regret, I regret trusting it never happened again. I regret living my life in fear of what you'd do next. I regret nothing. This is an open letter to my ex who I wish I could forget about. Personal preference. Again, another quote. I, I like quotes, okay. So here we go. For, for, so from February 14th, 2018. Appointments today. Today's appointment went okay. By that I mean I was as honest as I've been in a while. The only thing is, I wish I talked about a bit more about how I'm really feeling about myself. All I know is my anxiety level about next week's appointment is ridiculous. I haven't even been, I haven't been through a psychiatric evaluation in a while and I'm, I'm not worried, so to say I'm just anxious. And in quotation marks, Lydia, do you think you have an issue with eating? What is that? No, not really. What I meant, I feel like pieces of my life are falling to pieces. I hate myself. I don't eat because it makes me feel horrible. I can't deal with it. I hate everything about myself. Reading this is like intense. Like I, I did say I experienced depression for a long time. Time. I can't take anymore. The thoughts are too much to take. I don't care how it stops, I just need it to stop. I'm not going to be eating anymore because I'm fat, I'm ugly, I'm horrible. I can't even stand the sight of myself, I want to die. 17th of the 4th, 2018. I'm fearful, I feel like I'm losing my mind. Things don't make sense anymore. Everything's running together, I can't deal with and think straight. It's all happening at once. Things are getting better. I th thought things were getting better. But for a while I thought I was happy. Hell, I even felt happy, but now I feel worse than I have in a while. All I can think about is death. I want to die. At the, at the point when it's the only answer. I want to be. I want it all to be over. I don't think I can deal with it anymore. I can't stop thinking. Everything runs together. Things seem so weird at the moment. I'm afraid of having a future because I don't want to be alive but I actually want things to get more and less intense but I know it won't happen I genuinely want to die I never felt so sure about something in my life then I try to do bullet journaling <laughs> I feel emotionally drained I don't think I can take anymore I genuinely just want to die I want to die I feel like a burden I feel horrible I deserve to die I want to die I'm hopeless I, fu I fucked up everything I just want to die I spent the past best part of the past two days taking overdoses and physically I feel ill then cut my throat. Regardless of what anybody does, I fully intend on dying this weekend. I can't read this out. I can't because it's got my full on method percentages. It I was at a very low point when I wrote this and I can't put this online. I can't. It it has too many ideas, too many things that could potentially kill people. That's it, all I've got for this video. The journal's triggering, not gonna lie, it is, it's a bit triggering. What are you gonna do? Um, thank you for watching and I will see you guys soon. If you enjoyed these videos, let me know in the comments down below. Comment down your opinion, comment, let's have a conversation. Screw the like and dislike bar, no one gives a fuck about it. If you want, you can still leave a like, it comes through to me, I can still see it. But no, it's not public and I don't intend on making it public because the, it doesn't mean anything. Thank you for listening to me ramble about my journal. Okay, thumbnail attained. How YouTubers do it.